Yarnivores and Spider Ants. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely, oh so simple and snuggly cardigan. Yes, really, really easy, works up fast, and I love the results. Now, this is not so much of a specific pattern because we're all different shapes and sizes, this is more of a formula so that you can create your own custom sized cardigan for yourself or for somebody you love. This video is, by the way, sponsored by Lion Brand. Thank you very, very much, Lion Brand. Uh, the yarn that I used is Lion Brand's Mandala. Now, I have really enjoyed making these so much that I have made a whole bunch of these. This particular cardigan is in the colorway of Ghidra, or Ghidra, and let's do a little spin, shall we? Absolutely love this, and I tell you, I have gotten so many compliments from people. It just, it tickles me pink, or green, or blue, or purple, or what have you. And so yeah, I've made two more, and uh, we're going to do another one on camera. Yeah, so one sec, Let, let's continue the fashion show. Hmm. And this is the second one that I made. I made the sleeves just a little bit longer because when I go like this, I don't like the sleeves to, you know, sort of scooch. And that's the beauty of this formula is that you can make this whatever size you want to. And I just love the sort of cool Arctic colorways. Um, I believe this is the colorway of spirit, if I'm not mistaken. And so a little turn for you, too. Really, really gorgeous. And we've got one more, so let's grab that. You know. Now, this one I just finished sewing in the ends. So it is nice and fresh. And this, I think, is my favorite because, as you know, if you've been following me for any length of time, uh, I love autumn colors, anything earthy and rustic. This is the colorway of Centaur, and I love, 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 love the results. And so today I am going to show you how you can create one of these. Um, also, a really great aspect of it is that there are no seams. You don't have to sew pieces together. Starts at the collar, works its way down. You attach the sleeves on just by stitching on. It's very, very simple. And of course, I'm gonna walk you through it. So keep in mind, I am filming various things out of sequence. So let's get to the actual intro. <laughs> well, enjoy, let's get to it. Hello again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. Today, I am super excited because I am going to show you how to make a cardigan. And you can make it whatever size you want. This is going to be more of a formula than an actual pattern. And today's video is sponsored by Lion Brand. Thank you ever so much, Lion Brand, for your continued support. I really appreciate it. And today, we are going to be using Mandala. I absolutely love the colorways in these yarns. They're so much fun. Today, we are going to be using the colorway of Groot. Yes, and it has a lovely sort of rustic rainbow of autumnal colors. Love this. And so for those of you that are not familiar with this particular yarn, it is a weight of three and it is approximately 590 yards and it is 100% acrylic. So it's very easy to work with and care for. And so for this project, I used, well, I didn't use an entire four of these cakes. I went into the fourth, but you know, it's always good to have a little bit extra if you want to make adjustments to the size of your piece. 
also for this project, because we're using a weight of three yarn, I used a five millimeter size H crochet hook. And uh, yeah, this is a really, really fun project and it works up pretty darn fast. And like I said, it is customizable as far as the size is concerned. So without further ado, let's get started. Okie dokie. So before we get into the actual stitching, I wanted to give you sort of a, a, a once over as to how we're going to start the project. Now this piece is worked from the neckline down and the beauty of it is that there is no seaming or stitching pieces together. It is a one piece deal, uh, which is rather nice. Um, so this right here, believe it or not, this is sort of a schematic for the neckline. And I am going to be using a total of 80 chains for my neckline. There's a sort of edge stitch, 12 stitches, a corner stitch, 12 stitches, another corner, 24, another corner, 12, another corner, 12, and another edge stitch. So when you add up the, the dots and the numbers, you end up with 78 chains. And then you need another two chains uh, so that we can you know, chain up and then we can double crochet into the fourth chain and we can start making our neckline. Now you can make this you know, into a, a different set of dimensions if you so choose. The only thing I would say, of course, is uh, whatever this number is for the back of your neck, divide it in half and you end up with your two front pieces. As far as the width, that is also customizable. The only thing I would recommend is perhaps make it an even number of stitches so that it's easily divisible. Um, you know, personal preference. Um, and yeah, and then as far as the rest of the piece, you can customize the, the length of the body. So if you want, it could come down to your waist or it could be more of a, a duster, you know, really nice and long. The length of the sleeves, that's also customizable. It's totally up to you. I know what works for me, but my body shape is not necessarily yours. So there is a lot of room for customization. So that being said, we shall get started on row one. Okie dokie, let's get to it. All right, we shall begin at the begin. So row one, I already have my 80 chains. Like I said, that's 78 chains for the actual neckline and an additional two for the chaining up. And so I'm gonna go into the fourth chain from the hook. Now you can go into the back bump of the chain. I'm just gonna go into the top loop of the V, figuratively speaking. And so into the fourth chain from the hook, double crochet, and that counts as our first two stitches. This is our edge stitch, and then that is the first of our 12 stitches. So we have ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, missed apply. There we go. Pretty sure that's nine, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, okay, I got it. Three more. Two, 
10. Eleven and should be twelve. Okay, so I've got my my edge, and then two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Perfect. Okay, so then we do a corner stitch, and so into the next stitch, double, chain two, double into the same stitch. So going into double, chain two, and into the same stitch, another double. There. And so we're going to use that corner to build up and out uh, subsequently. So right now, so that is our corner stitch. Then we need another 12 stitches for sort of the side shoulder area. So one. Two. Three. Five, six, seven, eight. Eleven and should be twelve. Okay. Always double check your stitch count. Okay, so this this right here is the, the corner stitch. So I should have twelve more. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Perfect. Okay. And then we do another corner and it's going to be another 24 stitches after we do the corner stitch. So into the next stitch, double, chain two, double, double, chain two, and double. There we go. And then, so it's gonna be 24 stitches for the, the back of the neckline. And actually, I'm going to do the, the remainder of my 24 off camera, and then I will be right back so we can finish up row one. Okay, I will be back in just a momentito. Okay, so after doing my corner here, we did the 24 stitches. Now I need, yep, another corner stitch. So into the next stitch, double, chain two, double, double, chain two, another double, there we are. And then 12 stitches down this way for the opposite shoulder. Okay. That's two. Work our way up to 12. Three. Four, five, six, seven, 
seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, I'm gonna double check. I always do. Okay, two, four, six, eight. 10 and 12. Perfect. Okay. Then, yep, we need one more corner stitch. So into that next chain, double, chain two, double, double, chain two, and double. Now, if you want more pronounced eyelets in the corners, you could do a chain three. However, I find that a chain two works just fine. So just putting it out there, and then we need uh, another 12 and then our edge stitch. So it's going to be a total of 13. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen makes our edge stitch. And there you go. So yes, believe it or not, this is going to be our neckline. And I'm going to lay it out for you so that you can see better what we are going to be working with. Now, keep in mind, this is by no means a, a finished representation of what we're going to be working with because inside of this edge, after the bulk of the project is done. Um, afterwards, we're going to then uh, create a, a collar, okay, in this edge here and on this edge going down the front opening and this edge of the front opening. There is going to be uh, a, a bit of a uh, an edging, if you will. So this area here will be fleshed out more. So if this seems really big and open, well, it is, but it will not be quite so open after you do the finishing edging. Okay, so just putting that out there right now, if this looks really big and, you know, disconcerting, trust me, <laughs> we are far from done. Um, so yeah, this is your basic ne neckline. Uh, and then from here, we're going to expand this outward uh, to create the top portion of our cardigan. So I will show you how to increase from here and well, let's get to it. Okay, so row two and a number of subsequent rows thereafter are gonna be worked in the exact same way. So let me just pull out a little bit more yarn here so we can get started. Okay, now, for a nice clean edge, I strongly suggest do not chain up three, but to chain up two, and trust me, it looks a lot better. So chain up two, and turn your work, get the rest of your work out of the way. And so that is our edge stitch. And so skip this first stitch right here. We're gonna work in the second one because this does count as our first double crochet. 
and going to work our way to the next corner point, and that's where we're going to increase at each corner point. And at this point, you really, you don't need to count, which is a lovely thing. It's just the very initial beginning where you need to deal with, all right, where do I increase? And this also is where some of the customization comes into play. Now, my cardigan that I wear, um, I like to have the option of being able to wear perhaps a, a hoodie underneath it or a long sleeve shirt. You might want to keep that in mind when you are doing this part of the project. And I'll show you what I mean later. So this is not going to be something that is sort of form fitting. It's going to be a bit more casual, a bit more drapey and oversized, which I really like. It's very comforting to me. And so we're almost to the corner point. So I just need to do one more stitch. There we are. Okay, so then into the corner space, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles in that same space. And this is quite simply how we're going to increase for the top of our piece. That's all you have to do until you reach the next corner point. Pull out a bit more yarn. And we'll get to the next corner. And I don't think I've said it previously, but this actually is a great project for putting on a movie and having a nice bit of mindless stitching or, you know, mindful stitching, whichever the case may be, uh, because the whole project, it's just double crochets for the most part. Uh, you know, later on, we will do some front and back post doubles, some singles, but otherwise, no, you're, you're basically just following suit with what you already have pre-existing. So you don't have to pay a lot of attention. Always a bonus. Okay, and then we're almost to the next corner space. Okay, so again, in the corner space, two doubles, there we are, chain two, two more doubles, and then just do a double into each stitch until you reach the next corner point, and when you reach it, two doubles, chain two, two doubles, and so on and so forth until you reach the end of the row. So I'm going to do the rest of this row off camera, and I will meet back up with you. See you in a bit. All right, so we are on row three. I finished row two off camera, so you can see the rate of growth at the corners, and yes, this edge here, you don't want it to grow. No, we want a nice straight edge for the front opening of our piece. And so this is basically how we're going to keep going out, out, out until it is big enough to do, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of like a little bit of origami, if you will, because eventually what we're going to do is fold this in half like so. And this is going to be where our arms are. And so we need to grow this out 
uh, in all four points until it is big enough where this aperture right here is big enough for your arm. Now, for me personally, I needed only about 16 rows, and that gives me a, a large enough opening here uh, for me to be able to put on a hoodie underneath if I so choose, or just, you know, have a nice big open and billowy cardigan. So it's really just following suit with what we did in row two, just as many times as you need until it is the size that you are going for. So again, it's just chain up two, turn your work, skip this first stitch going into the next with double crochets until you reach the corner point. And when you do, two doubles, chain two, two doubles, for however many rows you need. Um, yeah, like I said, 16 in total worked for me just fine. You may need more or fewer as the case may be. And then I will show you the joining method and then going directly from that into creating the body of your cardigan. And it's that part that I find perhaps the most satisfying because it's just double crochets, no increasing, no decreasing, you know, total autopilot mode. And so I've almost reached the corner. So the, the increase rate remains the same for this aspect of the piece. I'll just get this one more right here. There we go. And then since we fit the corner, two doubles. Chain two, two more doubles. There we go. And then just double my way across until I reach the next corner point. Now, something that you do want to be careful of is when you are scooting along, don't forget to do a double crochet into the top of your last double crochet. Otherwise, your piece is going to shrink. Yeah. So into that second chain from the bottom into this top of the stitch right there, be sure to do your edge stitch. Otherwise, yes, you know, the uh, the front of your piece is going to shrink over time and you do not want that. Um, you know, and the, uh, the rate of increase is just at the corner points. So what I'm gonna do is off camera, I'm going to complete my total of 16 rows and then I'm gonna show you where the magic happens. Okay, so get stitching and I will meet back up with you in a bit, all right? See you soon. Hello again. All right, so I've been stitching along for my 16 rows for the top of the cardigan, and this is the result. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to fold this down as such, and we are gonna connect it. But it's at this point that you can try it on and see if it is big, enough or if you need to keep going etc etc so yeah you just position it as such and then underneath here it's a matter of joining this corner to this little corner down here you know i could sort of shift this over a little bit and so if these two bottom corner points when they join if you have enough room enough wiggle room for your sleeve then you are good to go. Me, like I said, I like a nice, big, baggy, slouchy cardigan. I wanna be comfortable. I don't wanna feel like I'm in a sausage casing. You know, I, I want some drape and I want some flow. 
Um, so this is perfect for me. You may need to do more or fewer than the 16 rows. It's totally up to you. And that's part of the beauty of this formula as opposed to a pattern. Um, you know, you can make it whatever size you want. Again, as I said before, yes, this neck opening seems really open. However, we are going to add a collar, which is going to bring this in a couple of inches or so. So do not worry about this being looking really open um, because it won't be quite so open. And also we are going to create an edging along here as well. So it will have a much more polished look at the end. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to, like I said, join underneath the arms, and then we're going to be doing the body of our cardigan. So let me show you how to do that. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so when you are ready to join, like I said, after my 16 rows, going to just start the next row as normally. So chain up two and turn the work. Now, as you can see, with my chaining of two, it has a nice flush edge to it. And we are going to be going over that edge later for the, the collar and so forth. So... All right, from here, again, skipping that first stitch, going into the next stitch with double crochets until we reach the corner point. And so I'm going, <laughs> there's, there's quite a few stitches, so I'm going to skip ahead. It's just double crochets until we reach the corner point, and then we can do the joining, which is the important part. So I'm going to scoot right along until I get to the corners. I'll show you the join, and I will be back shortly. Okie doke. So I did my double crochets, and I'm almost at our first corner point. Okay, just got a couple more stitches. And then we will do the join. Okay, one more to go. Okay, so my method is to go in as if you're going to keep doing the increase, but not quite, and I'll explain. So the corners, we would typically do two doubles, chain two, two doubles, right? Well, what I'm doing is a double, and then I'm going to do two doubles together. So I'm going to start the first double, which is yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, but I'm not going to finish up just yet. Now, the, the next one is going to be all the way down until we reach the next corner. So I'm just basically following the fabric as we go. Like so, that is the next corner. All right, so we're gonna go into that corner with another double crochet, and we're gonna do those together. So we already have half of our two together, then going in, yarning over, going into that corner, pulling up a loop, pull through two, and then pull through all three loops. So it's two together. Then one more double in the same space. And there you go, that is our join. Now, yeah, it looks a little bit weird at present, but not to worry, we will be uh, addressing that when we do the sleeves, because this right here is our sleeve. Now, you also may be thinking, wow, that is a really big sleeve. Not to worry, we will be doing decreasing to taper the sleeve later. So do not worry about that just yet. So from here, so we have sort of one and a half in here, one and a half in here. And then just continue on by doing double crochets in each stitch until you reach 
the next corner point. So I'm going to be doing that off camera and I will meet back up with you so that we can do the next join together. Okay. I like to be thorough, but not redundant. So I will meet right back up with you uh, in just a short while. Give me one moment and I shall return. All right, so after stitching, stitching, stitching all across the back of our cardigan, we are up to the next corner point. So going to pop into here, do the last couple of stitches, join the corners just as we did before. I just want to show that, you know, there's really nothing to it. It seems more complicated than it is because it's sort of like, uh, I said previously, it's sort of like an origami technique. You know, we're folding the garment. So let's just do this last little stitch right here and then we will do our joining. Okay, so going to do the first double into the corner space. And then we're going to do a double two together, right? So yarn over, going into that space, pull up a loop, pull through two. And then we get to scoot down to the next corner. So get the yarn out of the way and scoot, scoot, scoot to the next corner. And then we go into the corner by yarning over, going into that corner space, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then pull through all three loops. And there you go. And then one more double into that new corner space right there. And there you go. So instead of having uh, a total of two stitches here and two stitches here, we have a total of three stitches because two of them are shared together. So it's not adding a lot of extra bulk right underneath there. So then after we do that, just continue on by doing one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the end of the row. Now, from here on, as far as the body of the cardigan is concerned, you are now prancing along Easy Street because it's just following the stitches as they are for the remainder of the body of the cardigan. You're not increasing, you are not decreasing, you are going on autopilot, which sometimes is quite a delightful little journey. And, um, so now this also is where you get to customize the length of your cardigan. You know, if you want something that is really short, more power to you. Personally, I like the length of my cardigan to be past my waistline, if not even lower than that, you know. Um, that is my personal preference. And for me, it means adding about another 30 rows. After this row that we're doing right here, I add about another 30 rows. And then from there, we can start working on the edging and the collar and then the sleeves. Yeah, right now we're just, this is sort of like the, the second phase of the cardigan. The first phase is the top half. Second phase is the body. Third phase, the edging and the collar. And then fourth phase, I like to do the sleeves last, quite frankly. And that may seem a little bit weird, but I am weird, so I just call them as I see them. So now yeah, I'm just going to keep going until I reach the end, but I'm sure that you sort of get the idea and gist because right now we've got a straightaway. So this is the, the front opening edge right here, and then just sort of scoot, scoot, scoot. And then this is our, our sleeve opening right here. This is upside down, mind you. Uh, and then just sort of scoot, scoot, scoot along the back of the cardigan. 
and then we have our another sleeve opening. And so when you are doing each subsequent row, this next row, it would be, you know, double, double. This stitch right here counts as a double. You see a little V right there? That's just one stitch. So you just treat it as one stitch and you just keep growing off from there. And so just scoot, scoot, scoot. And then of course, when you get to the last stitch, do a double into the uh, second chain from the bottom there chain up two, turn the work, and work back. It's really that simple. So uh, for, the, for the sake of being nice and clear, uh, I'm gonna finish this row, work my way back, and show you what I'm talking about as far as at this point here, just for clarity's sake, okay? I will be right back. Alrighty, so like I said, I started my new row. I just worked back as normal. And then when you hit the, the join area, quite simply, like I said, it's just one stitch per stitch. You're not adding anything or taking anything away. Just one stitch per stitch so that we have a nice clean finish going on here. And this is how you're going to do every row for the rest of the body of your piece. So it's very straightforward. And so just by doing one stitch across, voila. So you can see where we did our, our decreasing you know, these two stitches together and we end up with a nice clean edge there and it's just going to keep building off and off and off uh, for the length of the body of your piece and so like I said I'm doing this row right now um, you know this is you know uh, one and then two so after this row another what 29 more rows thereabouts for me to go well I'm gonna get to it and you I want you to get to it as well. And when your piece is long enough, we can then start on the edging and the collar and make this look ship shape. All right, so you get to work, I'll get to work, and I will see you in a bit. All right, see you soon. All right, so I've been stitching along, adding to the, the length of the body of our cardigan. And I really love how this colorway is sort of working its magic here. Now, of course, yes, we still have a lot more to go. Uh, we're going to be doing the edging to sort of clean up these side edges here and also give ourselves a little bit of a collar. And also, of course, yes, we're going to add some sleeves. Now, yes, I understand this is, this is very open. However, we will decrease to give the sleeves some shaping, and we're gonna really polish this up. But yeah, so far I'm rather enjoying like a little bit of a twirl here. Give you a full idea. And so in the next video, we're going to work on the edging, uh, you know, add the sleeves on, and we will be ready to rock. So listen, everybody, thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the video so far and stay tuned for more so that we can finish this up. And thank you again to Lion Brand for sponsoring this video, of course. And until next time, you know what to do, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.